You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to talk more Godzilla versus Kong. We got a enlarged version. Maybe that's not the right word. So we got a we got a widescreen version of the recent teaser that dropped on Sunday, and we also got a new commercial spot. Commercial spot doesn't show much, but it does show something people have been asking for, which is Kong beating his chest, and uh, we'll get a screenshot of that up here um, while we talk about it. It was just a basic 11 second TV spot. And I was kind of on the watch for more last night, just in case we had like three of them drop, like we did the weekend leading into the trailer. And we had a big stream that night. And we kind of looked over all of them and I was kind of hoping for something similar that would have been exciting. But nonetheless, um, I think I think we've gotten enough at this point. But an interesting thing, looking at the, the big talk right now regarding the widescreen version of the teaser from Sunday is the shot of the city, uh, the night, and a shot of Kong and then behind Kong you can see Godzilla and we'll pull a screenshot of that up while we talk about it and there's of course a lot of a lot of theories coming out of this one you know as to whether or not uh I two theories I hear one they're teaming up two uh Godzilla's thinking up on Kong and I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with two uh I don't think when Godzilla and Kong do team up I think this is something we all know is gonna happen it's inevitable I don't think it's going to be the kind of team up where these guys are standing side by side. I, I, I it, it's not, it, it's going to be very subtle, you know, like it's going to be a very reluctant team up to me. If I saw this particular shot and thought to myself, they were teaming up, it looks like Kong's getting his ax and Godzilla's kind of walking behind him, ready to pat him on the shoulder and say, Hey, let's go do this. That's not happening. Okay. This team up is going to be a last minute decision by whoever the loser is to come in and save the other one, not because they like them, but because they know that the other threat is bigger and the other monster is going to understand that. They're going to treat this as a monster team up. I don't think it's going to be like them standing side by side and, and you know, you start hearing Avenger type music and they look at each other and they're like, yeah. And then they, <laughs> it's just, no, it's going to be just them trying to knock the shit out of Mecha Godzilla. And th there's no going to be, there's not going to be any time for them to look at each other and yeah, it's just not going to happen. Uh, so I don't, I, I'm more than convinced that this is Godzilla taking advantage of the fact that Kong might've swung and missed and hit a building and he went to get the ax and you know, as big as Godzilla is, he can be a sneaky boy, okay? He can be a sneaky boy. We we saw part of this in 2014 when he first arrives on, you know, um, Hawaii, you know, and you see him circling through the city. Yes, he's causing damage, but we don't really quite know where he is yet. And then even still, and it's not a matter of him being stealthy. He just knows how to pick his spots when it comes to it. He, he is a more, in my opinion, especially in the cityscape, probably more experienced in navigating the terrain than Kong is, or at least that's how it should be. Kong has done most of his fighting on the island. Godzilla's done most of his, fi his fighting within civilizations, you know, even, we can assume, even centuries, centuries, and centuries before. So he's going to know how to navigate the buildings and, and kind of use that to his advantage. Uh, Kong's advantage is that he's just going to be a lot faster, and we can assume a lot smarter. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I think Kong will be the loser because I think Kong is the kind of monster that he's going to get up from a loss to Godzilla and recognize, wait a minute, you know, I don't like that guy, but that big shiny dude is a lot worse. Let me take care, let me help take care of this guy and then me and this guy can finish our business later. I don't, while Godzilla is very intelligent, I don't see Godzilla breaking it down that way, you know? Um... That's why, that's one of the things I like about Kong. He, yes, Godzilla is very intelligent. We've seen evidence of that through the MonsterVerse, but I don't think he can break down and process that kind of thought the way Kong could. And that's just, you know, that's just my opinion. So I definitely don't think the scene is them teaming up at all. I don't even think it's close. I think it's, I think it's literally Kong swung and missed or Kong is, is uh, losing the fight and he's trying to retrieve his ax to regain some sort of advantage or make it even. Because if you look at the, uh, I'll try and pull it up here. If you look at the shot from the old trailer where Kong does the double axe handle on Godzilla's head, 
And someone pointed this out to me over the weekend during the stream. If you look on the lower right, you can actually see the axe sticking out of the building. So that all takes place in the same sequence, meaning that they're still in the middle of a fight, which is more evidence that this, it's just not a team up. So um, it, we're going to see it, right? I don't think we're going to see it in the trailer, although I do have another video I'm going to be doing on my opinion about a second trailer. Um, yeah. Yeah. Not something I'm too... Well, I'll get to that in that, in that video. But... Yeah, so I don't think they're teaming up. I think it's as simple as Kong swung and miss, or Kong is losing the fight, and he's trying to get his, his axe to kind of even it up, and Godzilla, knowing how powerful the axe is, is not going to get him, and it's coming up behind him. I, I think that's pretty much as simple as it is. So um, I don't think we're going to get anything regarding the team up. You know, I don't think that's something that they're going to want to give away. I think... They believe a majority of people are still under the assumption that there's not going to be a team up in this movie. You know, remember, there are a lot of people excited for this movie. And many of them are not Kaiju fans. And many of them do not follow leaks and, and, and dissect the trailer like we do. So some of them still don't even know Mechagodzilla is in this movie. So you got to understand, they, they want that to be a surprise. As far as the general audience is concerned... Godzilla and Kong hate each other, and the idea of them teaming up could never happen. So I don't think they're going to drop that surprise uh, in any of the trailers. But you know, who knows? We've been, <laughs> we've been, we've been uh, lied to before in that regard. Like you know, we thought they wouldn't. I thought during King of the Monsters they would never show King Ghidorah, and they did. And then I never thought one minute Burning Godzilla would be in King of the Monsters, and not only was he, they actually showed it. So. <laughs> Who knows? And, and and we'll talk about more of that in the next video. But uh, but that's it. So that's my my thought. I think it's a te I don't think it's a team up at all. I think it's actually I think it's fairly obvious if you pay attention to other parts of the trailer, even the original with the first one. If you pay attention to that particular scene at the city with the, all the neon, put them together. and You can see this is a fight sequence between him and Kong. I personally believe that the, the team up against Mechagodzilla is going to come the next morning or, or during the day, the early dawn when the city is completely destroyed. That's my opinion. So, but anyway, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think it's a team up shot? I don't, but you might. And I want to hear why until next video. This is Rob signing off for ETN where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Click here to watch more content. Don't forget to leave a comment. Also, make sure you like and share this video. If you want to know when the next video is up, click the notification bell next to the subscribe button. And most of all, make, make sure, sure to, to click, click that, that subscribe button for regular content.